It's time for Outdoors Bound with George Nolliff. Sponsored by Kubota of Lynchburg and Tony's RV. Outdoors Bound this morning. Well, they charge and jump and dive while going on line peeling runs at the pace of a locomotive. And the best place to find this unique predator in the summer is in Virginia. WFXR's George Nolliff takes us to the lower Chesapeake Bay to hunt for the elusive cobia. Here we go, hooked up. Before you can get to that, the equivalent of a torpedo in fish form, you have to go through a bit of this. Another non-biter. Behind it and didn't bite it. He bit, he bit the eel, but he was a little small. The target species is cobia, a top-line predator, and maybe the best place to catch them in the summer is Virginia's lower Chesapeake Bay. Fishing for them, well, it's a lot like stalking big game. You're looking for, you know, life, and, you know, you're fishing edges of contours and stuff like that. You know, these fish are very nomadic, much like, you know, the reds as well in the summertime. So there's a lot of movement and trial and error and you're just process of elimination as your day goes on. You're sliding around trying to trying to find them. I saw him chase it, though. Oh, yeah, he was hawking it. Captain Tyler Nunn is a fishing guide with Tidewater Charters out of Cape Charles. He spends hours on the water up high in the tower of his boat scoping out the horizon. Yes, sir. We're looking for cobia. That's because cobia often come to the surface. And when they do, if you can get a bait in front of them, like a live eel, well, it can be game on. Oh, there's one right there. Cobia fish is a lot of fun. You can, you can catch them in a variety of ways, and uh, they're a great sport fish. Cobia are going to stay in Virginia waters for a few more months, so you still have a chance to get in on this action. One other thing, they are delicious, but on this day, we were catching but not keeping. It's all part of conserving the resource while enjoying the experience. Oh, there he goes. They're definitely good to eat. That's undeniable, um, but, uh, you know, they're worth a lot more in the water than they are, you know, in a cooler. How y'all doing, folks? The reason cobia are more valuable in the water is because they sustain a summer charter fishery that generates millions of dollars for the Virginia economy. Now you need good, sustainable numbers for that industry to thrive. And you can keep one every now and then. I do. I can tell you they have a rich, buttery flavor similar to swordfish, Brandon. And so when the captain was up there, he was kind of scoping out the water, helping everybody out. But what is it? What's he looking for? He's looking for shadows. He's, he's up high. This is classic sight fishing. You spot your target. You see that fish, man. Your heart starts pounding. Adrenaline just pumping. The captain's looking for cobia sunning themselves on the surface. When he or she spots the silhouette, they throw a bait toward that fish, toward the cobia. Sometimes they hit. Sometimes they don't. But when they do, it is boom, instant excitement. It is game on. So do they not exactly travel in groups? Is it more kind of, you know, one off or? You will find them in groups, but they tend to be solitary. Um, okay. But we have good numbers of them here. We want to keep it that way, but right. they, they, a blast to catch. So if and you can get in on it all the way up to mid-September. So get out there and catch one. All right, George, thanks.